Hello everyone, this is Mysterious one more time with another video tutorial. In this case, uh, we're going to continue our maze game that we're developing using Scratch 3.0. In our previous video, we added these items for our main character to collect. I ended up adding four apples. The idea is that when we start the game, our main character goes to each apple and collects the apple. As he collects, you will notice that the score changes by one as he finishes collecting all the items. Now, we're going to add in this particular video a little bit of appearance. So we're going to add a visual effect to the apples and we're going to add the portal that's going to show after we have finished collecting the four apples. So let's go first to the apples and add the appearance. So the appearance effect is going to be very simple. We go to custom and in custom we notice that there is only one custom which is the apple. So we're going to add just an empty custom right here. Now we have two customs. One with the apple and another one without the apple. Then we proceed to add the code. So we add the green flag. Right after that, we will go to control. In control, we will have a forever. Inside the forever, we're going to put a wait one second. Then we're going to go to uh, looks. In looks, we're going to go to next custom. And then we will go to operators. And in operators, we're going to get the pick random from 1 to 10. We're going to place it inside here. And then we're going to do from 0 0.5 to 1.5. What this is going to do is that this is going to make the apple kind of like flicker. It's going to flash right there. It's going to give this effect. And the random option, what it's going to do is that it's going to make all these apples do the same thing but at different times. So all we need to do right now is to go to each apple, add the empty custom, we go to the next one, custom, we add the empty custom and the last one here and we add the empty custom and now we go to the first apple we go to code and this time we're going to drag this code to each apple so that we don't have to use time to rebuild the code we drag it drag to this one and now I drag it to the last one this way we copy this script into all of the apples. So we go here and here it is. Now we go to the third apple and here it is. And now we go to the fourth apple and here it is. So if we start the game, you will notice that all the apples are gonna start showing up and they will start flickering, providing the appearance as they, they appear and disappear constantly until we collect them so our main character can go and collect the apple there we go now that apple is not showing up anymore there we go and so on now that we are done with that now we're going to add the portal the portal is going to be any random item you, you want any item of your choice from the library. In my case, um, I think uh -huh.
let me use the star so I am going to use this star as my portal so this star is going to show up right here I want the star to be a little bit smaller so I'm going to just do probably 60 right there and let's proceed with the coding let me stop right now the coding for a moment right here and we're going to go now to code and in code we're going to go to the events and we're going to add a green flag now we don't want the start to show up at the beginning of the game so we have the green flag and then we go to looks and in looks we're gonna just use the block hide so whenever you click the green flag this star is going to hide so let's try that so now when I click the green flag you can see that the star is hidden let's stop the script for a moment again now when do we want the star to show up we will go here to gobo which is our main character so you go to your main character and you tell the computer that when you click the green flag now you go to control you're going to add a forever and inside of forever you're going to put an if then now you go to operators and you're going to have this one that has, has a blank equal 50 now we go to variables we drag collect one inside the empty space and then anytime collected collect one is equal to four and why four because we have four apples if you have three apples or three items then you have three if you have six then you have six whatever amount of items you want your main character to collect is the number you have to write right here in this case we have four so that's why we have if collect one equal four and it's collect one because that's the score we have over here so if collect one equals four then this is going to broadcast the message the message is going to be a new message and the message is going to be portal one so we have portal one and it's very important that when you have this type of messages then you do the following events when I receive and you put when I receive portal one now we're gonna go to variables we're gonna set the variable collector one to a greater number than four in this case five uh, is greater than four because that's the amount I have here if you have six items that you're collecting then it has to be a number greater than six and so on and then you put hide variable collected one this is going to make the variable hide and it's also going to help me make my star show so I'll go in this case now to the star and now we'll go to events in events I go to when I collect sorry when I receive portal 1 now I will just tell the coordinate to where I want that to show so I go to looks in looks I will go to hide then show and go to front motion and then the coordinates where I want this to be and I know because this is 203 and negative 154 which are the same numbers I have here that shows that right there and then I work on the interaction between my main character and my portal so I tell the computer that when I receive portal 1 and then I go to control then I do whatever now I do if then now I go to sensing and sensing and sensing I go right here and put if touching my main character which is gobo 
their events. And I go new message. Level two. Then when I receive level two, whatever, go to control, whatever, and then it looks hide. So the portal hides. And that's something that we have for every for every item after we collect level two. We will go back to this so that we know how to get rid of all the items that we have in level one and how to make a level two show.